Hey, our friends, happy Friday. Now, Valentine's is right around the corner, so I thought it would be a lot of fun to draw a heart hugging another heart. Now, we're going to use our markers for this lesson, but we're also going to use pencil and eraser. And we're also going to color it at the end, of course. So first step we're going to draw is the heart that's holding the other heart. So that one's the bigger one. So we're going to draw a heart right in the middle of our paper. Okay. There's one side. Now we're going to draw the other side, and we want it to match. There we go. All right, so there's, there's the big heart or the heart that's going to be hugging the smaller heart. So let's switch to our pencil. Now we're going to draw a smaller heart inside of this first one. So we're going to start in the middle, and we want it a little lower too. So we're going to start in the middle, but we're going to draw the smaller one down, closer to the bottom. There we go. Okay, now we're going to switch back to our marker and we're going to draw the arms that are hugging this smaller heart. So we're going to draw a line that comes in and then we're going to draw a sideways W. So here we go. We're going to draw one finger, another finger, and then we're going to come back out, sideways W or sideways M, and then we're going to draw the bottom of the arm coming back out. There's one arm. Now we're going to draw that same thing on the other side. So we're going to start up here, curve down. And then we're going to draw that sideways W. And we're going to draw the bottom of the arm coming back. Okay, now we can finish the inside heart, or the smaller one. So we're going to trace the pencil line. Come around. We can draw the bottom part too. We'll draw the top and finish that smaller heart. Then we can switch to our eraser and erase these pencil lines. And there we go. That's a really easy way to draw a big heart hugging a small heart. Now I'm going to add a face to each of the hearts. Now on the small heart, I'm going to add two upside down U's for the eyes. This one's going to look like he's being hugged. And then I'm going to draw a U for the mouth. Now I'm going to draw the face for the bigger heart. I'm going to draw a circle for one eye and for the other eye. <laughs> then I'm going to draw smaller circles inside. And I'm going to draw an even smaller circle down at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to color in the bigger circles and leave those small circles white. Okay, and then for his mouth, I'm going to do a little W, just for a funny face. <laughs> and I'm also going to put little eyelashes on this, on this eye, and also on the other eye. Now you can add other details if you want to. I'm going to add a bow for the big heart and wings for the small heart. So up here, I'm going to draw a little box for the first step. Now if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video don't worry if you need a little extra time. You can always stop it and then start it after you've completed a step. Okay, now we're going to draw one side of the bow. So we're going to come up. And then I'm going to come back down. Little, a, It's like an A shape. And I'm going to do that same line on the other side. Okay, now we're going to draw the details inside the bow. So I'm going to start here. And we're going to draw a raindrop shape that comes out and back in. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to add the wings for the small heart. So I'm going to draw a curve that comes up and back down. Just like the bow, but now underneath here we're going to draw little U shapes that are connected back into the heart and we're going to do that same thing over here on the other side. Up and back down and then we're going to Draw those U-shapes connecting back in. <laughs> okay, now the very last step, I'm going to add legs for the big heart. So I'm going to draw two lines on this side, and the inside line is going to come down further. And then I'm going to connect these two lines with a sideways U-shape. There's one foot, and then we're going to repeat those steps on the other side. So a long line, and then a short line and then connect 
the sideways U shape. All right, there we go. We finished drawing our big heart hugging the small heart. Now we're gonna put our markers off to the side and the next step is coloring it. You have to color your drawings. It's always gonna look a lot better once you add color. All right, this part I'm gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause it so that you can match the same color. coloring my hearts I'm sure your drawings look amazing too now don't worry if they don't look exactly like mine because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice I promise the second time you draw your hearts it'll turn out better than the first time and I'll see you later art friends goodbye